got a few stories to cover today. Before I get started, I want to say we got a few more subs and we're just three subs away from 100 from YouTube. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and leave your comments. I always reply to comments. So I'm going to get right into this. Spring breakers keep partying with Florida beaches and bars packed with revelers despite fears they could fuel COVID surge. Again, I did a video on this, so you can go check it out. But, you know, people, especially young people, they're not afraid of this. They're not afraid of getting sick. And the rate of people getting well is like 98%. So they're going to be out there. They're going to be partying. Just be careful and be responsible and don't do too much sinning while you're out there. I could do an entire week's worth of shows just on this guy low, but I know everyone out there already knows the deal, but I'm just going to cover this one briefly. It says Biden flights of fantasy. President wrongly claimed that COVID-19 cost more lives than World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and 9-11 combined and misled the public on timelines of Trump's response to the virus and number of vaccine doses he ordered. Of course, this guy is just a puppet, and we all know this. The guy is already so old that he doesn't really even know what's going on. And, yeah, I mean, they're probably hitting him from every single side, so he's just saying whatever they tell him to say. I've done, like, three videos of Kumo, so you can go and check those out. And this article says, I won't resign. Kumo defies AOC and Jerry Nadler's calls to quit as it's revealed. 30 women have now complained about his bullying and sexual harassment. In my opinion, this is all because of the nursing home debacle. But let's see what happens with this. The George Floyd police officer trial is in the works. So this is back in the news. And this article says Minneapolis agrees to pay record-breaking 27 million wrongful death settlement to George Ford's family while jury selection for Derek Chavez's murder trial continues. My opinion, this sends all the wrong messages out. People are now going to try to provoke the police officers even more because they know that if they kill one of their family members, they could get $27 million. I mean, who decides how much money they're going to pay out? And why is it $27 million? Pierce Morgan slams bullies on CBS The Talk for shaming Sharon Osbourne into apologizing after she stood up to co-stars accusing him of racism for questioning Megan's claims. So Piers Morgan recently has been making headlines. He quit his job because he didn't believe what was happening over there in Europe with uh, those people. Anyway, here we have Sharon Osbourne who actually stood up to her co-stars and now they shamed her and they're making her apologize. In the main article, Arizona PR exec 35 who filmed her own public meltdown while wrecking a display of masks in Target claims she was digitally brainwashed by QAnon and compares her radicalization to alcoholism. All right, let's watch the video. Well, if that public meltdown wasn't bad enough, apparently her husband called the police on her, and this is what happens at their house. In the swamp, they did everything that Donald Trump was elected to do. You can read about it on Twitter. You can read about it in the news. All of the all of the deep state politicians, all of that stuff has happened. It's done. So I was hired to be the, the QAnon spokesperson. I cannot. It's a secret. What do you mean? Like I, I can't give you any classified information. You're not. You're not. You're not. You don't have parents. You don't have parents. You don't. Yeah, for the, for, the, for the White House. Yeah. Okay. Got called down from and asked him if you, if you don't believe me. Do you like, have his phone number? Do I have his phone number? I'm on the phone with him all the time. I'm fucking wired. Okay. I think we have enough here. Okay. Can you put down your phone? Now? No, I'm not going to put down my phone. Like I said, I'm wired. 
All this is being broadcast live. It is? Yeah. Okay, where is it being broadcast? Everywhere, all over the world. All over the world? All over the world on Instagram, yeah. Millions of viewers. So, say cheese. You're on candid camera. Okay, thank you. CBI or Okay. Melissa, well, what if you, I mean, if you spin around and just put your phone down? What? Please, okay. Put your phone down. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Great. You're doing it to me because I'm Jewish. You're doing it to me because I'm Jewish. I have no idea. You're doing it to me because I'm Jewish. So the first video of her destroying the display was back in July. And then the other video was more recent, but she's back in the headlines because she's saying that she was brainwashed. There's several articles I went over. Leave your comments on any of them. Also, let me know if you want me to cover several things or just one thing at a time for the entire show. I want to know your thoughts on that. Have a great weekend for the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm Dum Dum.